my eyebrows are gone, like almost gone. Like nobody had noticed my eyebrows are gone, like almost gone. <laughs> What is up my fluffy buns? Before you ask anything, I recently had to like pluck my eyebrows and I kind of overdid it because I don't know, it's just that you know those annoying hairs that goes around it and I kind of like overdid it. I don't know, I was like trying to do like my skincare. I hadn't done my skincare a long time but I did it because like my face is so dry. I think I might try to do a skincare daily. I'm not 100% sure. I mean it's okay. I mean it'll grow back. I mean I'll put some like almond oil or any kind of oil just to grow back. I went downstairs and I talked with my mom. She had noticed that my eyebrows are almost gone. Yeah that happened so I might have to tell eventually i don't know i kind of like overdid my eyebrows i literally tried to like get an eyebrow pencil and draw it back but i'm not good with makeup so like it didn't look good and so here i am with short eyebrows i just came back from work and i just shower and i did wash my face because well i kind of feel like i want to practice doing makeup because look at me i have no eyebrows and, like nobody had noticed my eyebrows are gone like almost gone and i want to practice doing makeup and like today's looks gonna be like red because well i don't know it's almost past valentine's day and i want to do something red I don't know, I'm all out of it. <laughs> and right now I'm using the Pacific Dream U Moisturizer. You guys can see that. And right now I'm using the Elf Blemish Control Face Primer. Right now I'm using the Light Shade of Elf Concealer, which I'm gonna use this as concealer and foundation because like foundation is like a little bit heavy for me. I'm gonna do the eyebrows. I'm not sure if this is for like the eyebrows, but I might probably gonna use pencil eyebrow. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Black Eyebrows, and I'm gonna be using this eyebrow brush. Hopefully, this actually works of me doing it professionally. The eyebrows look kind of hard to do and this is the farthest it can go. It doesn't look like I did it like naturally. Yeah, and I also used some concealer just to conceal things. So like I had two concealers like this, but I don't know where's my other concealer. So this is the one I got. I'm gonna use the NYX Professional Makeup Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm gonna be using this red shade right here. I'm gonna use the Golden Sunset Eye Palette, which I'm not gonna use the shimmery red, I think. I'm not sure if it's matte or shimmery, but yeah. So that took me like a long time to get the eyebrows, but I'm going to be using this lipstick, this red lipstick, with this little eyeshadow brush just to like brush my lips out. And I did put some Vaseline just to get a little moisturizer. This is my final makeup look, and I think I kind of went too far on the lips, but I kind of did really great on the lips part. I saw this webtoon called True Beauty, and I don't know, it kind of inspired me. I want to do makeup. I just feel like I want to do makeup, but like, as many tries, it takes time. I think I did good on the eyeshadow, and maybe on the eyebrows. I mean, I wish I had my eyebrows back. <laughs> this is the final makeup look, and...
yeah. Comment down below if I should do more makeup videos or I don't know, but uh, I feel like I did good on this. Since I did like many tries on how to do makeup, like, you know, concealer is everything. Like, it helps, like, you know, I didn't use like tape or like wing the eyeshadow yeah so just comment down below and tell me what you think thank you guys for watching please give a like subscribe comment down below wherever you want hit that notification bell notify this video and i'll see you guys in the next video